Books 15, Receiving Payments, Deposits, and Paying Bills. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's the Facebook page, our website, the book that we teach online for free every week, and the blog, Accounting Accidentally. So where we're moving to now is uh, we've created some invoices, which is in this the customer section. We've bought some inventory and sold it and we have some bills and now we need to record some payments as being received and we need to pay some bills. And the first thing you should know that in the upper right hand corner where it says account balances you see we have a payable balance we need to pay 9,000. We have accounts receivable of 15,200. Another thing you'll notice is if I go to list chart of accounts there is not a cash account that's in the chart of accounts listed here. It would be in the asset section, it's not listed there. As I scroll down you'll see there's other expense accounts but no cash account. So I'm going to create a cash account. I'll go to account, new. I'm going to go to click on bank and it says create one for each cash account such as and that's the kind of thing I'm going to create. I'll hit continue. So it's a bank account, and I'm going to call it checking. There is no sub-account. The description I really don't need. Routing number and bank account I'm not going to worry about right now. I'm also not going to create any opening balance because my first deposit is going to be from um, what I've sold, so I'm going to hit save and close. It asks me if I want to set up online. I won't do that right now. And you'll see that I have an account at the very top of the chart of accounts called checking. The type of account is bank. It has a zero balance. So we have no cash balance right now. So the first thing we're going to do is the next thing. We'll receive a payment. And you'll notice that I, a window comes up that says customer payment. I'm going to click on Receive From in the drop-down menu. My only client so far is Elm Street Clothing. I'll click on that. And you'll see that there are three receivables from Elm Street and the total of 15,200 matches the account balance for accounts receivable that's in the top right-hand corner. I'm going to click on the 12,000 and assume that that has come in as paid. It says if you do not enter an amount received, QuickBooks automatically calculates the amount you select as you select each invoice in the table. So I'm going to, I'd like that command to keep coming up. So the amount due is 12,000. I'm going to apply 12,000. Now, there's a little bit of a catch here because when I click on where does this payment go, let's just see what happens there. What, this relates to one of the biggest confusions in QuickBooks which is undeposited accounts. So I'm going to click out of the have a question and I am going to leave up the help article. It says payments are automatically grouped together in undeposited funds account so they are available to be deposited later. This is a common problem in QuickBooks in that People don't realize that there is a parking place for money when they, record a when they record a payment as being received. It sits there in undeposited funds and sometimes people don't know to move the money. It says further, you can choose whether to use undeposited funds by setting up a preference under the sales and customer preference category. So it says to go to that area, there is a link, to turn the preference off, do not check to clear, use undeposited funds, and hit OK. I'm going to do that because I think it's a big area of confusion. So when I click on the instruction here to open it up in the help window on the right, it says choose Edit Preferences. So I go to Edit, Preferences at the bottom, 
it says on the left hand side of preferences to click payments there's payments click the company preference tab I click company preference to turn the preference off use the click use undeposited funds checkbox clear that out so I'm going to clear out undeposited funds so I don't have to use it and I'm going to hit OK it says QuickBooks must close all of its open windows to change this preference so I'm going to clear close all the windows so what I did was close all the windows out <coughs> off, <coughs> offline not on the video and now I'm back to my customer payment from Elm Street for twelve thousand dollars I'm receiving a customer payment I'm gonna hit save and close now looking at the home screen I'm gonna move from receive payment over to the right under in the banking section where it says record deposit click on the record deposit make deposit window comes up it says view method type sort payments by payment method let's click on these drop downs it's a cash or check deposit I'm gonna say it's a check what I did next was click it says select payments to deposit so the only one that's available is the received payment for twelve thousand dollars I'm gonna put a check by that one one of one payments to deposit twelve thousand dollars I'm gonna hit OK now you'll see what happened is that it came out it, it says received from Elm Street clothing it came out of undeposited funds it doesn't just sit there by unchecking the undeposited funds box on the preferences it allows me to get those funds moved into a bank account called checking. It says deposit to checking top or top left hand corner. Received from Elm Street. It's coming out of that undeposited funds account. I don't want the money just to sit there. I want to make sure that there's a prompt to automatically move it out. And I'm going to hit save and close. Let's see if that money got moved to the account I wanted it moved to by going to reports company financial balance sheet standard and I see that in the assets section of the balance sheet I have a checking account balance now of twelve thousand dollars so that's correct let's go up to the vendor section you'll recall in the last video that I received inventory with a bill so there was a bill attached that an inventory to that inventory I received and now I'm going to pay a bill. Before I do that, you'll note in the account balance in the top right hand corner that I now have a $12,000 checking balance and my accounts receivable is now $12,000 lower. It's now at $3,200. So now back to this. I received an inventory with a bill on the last video. Now I'm going to pay bills. So I'll click on the pay bills button and I'll see that I see two transactions but I'm gonna focus on that eight thousand dollars in blue jeans that we bought from mountaintop denim and sold to a client at retail you saw that on a recent video I'm gonna put click on the box by that one I'm gonna unclick the thousand so the eight thousand is the only one I'm concerned about and I'm going the ending balance is uh, four thousand dollars down here that's what's left of what I owe Mountaintop and not only Mountaintop but some other vendors too. So I'm going to pay the selected bill that is the one that I checked. I get a payment summary saying the date, the payment account, I'm going to use checking to pay it and I'm paying by check. The amount I'm paying is $8,000. I have the option to print checks or pay more bills but I'm just going to hit done for now 
let's go to balance sheet company financial balance sheet standard I see that my cash checking account is now four thousand dollars lower I also see that my my checking account is eight thousand dollars lower down to four thousand and that's reflected on the right hand side I also see that my account payable went from nine thousand down to one thousand and accounts payable is reflected at one thousand in the top right hand corner that's as far as we're going to get on receiving payments deposits and paying bills you can get one-on-one -on -one online tutoring on the website there's additional videos and excel spreadsheets that are not on youtube i teach the cost accounting for dummies book free online each week and the blog is also linked to the website thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time